What's up friends of the good boy? This is Money and welcome to a video how the Vortex Spectre, my favorite robot in the game or at least for a very long time, ruins this match, okay? Completely ruined. All chance of winning ruined by my Vortex Spectre. How is that possible? I'll show you, okay? So let's get going, ladies and gentlemen. I was trying to record for some Instant Vince video series. That's why I went with some, you know, unusual tactics trying to win you know their main their main home base beacon very early on without really having much of a chance to do this in this case here uh, the, I was unlucky there was a Ravana coming my way and in this case I could probably even beat the Ravana the problem however is another scorpion joins the fight and that makes it impossible now uh, only that one Ravana it seems like because he's running Orkins and rockets that I can block with the energy shield I was able to beat him probably uh, but not against both of them, so my initial plan absolutely failed of getting their base beacon, but at the same time I was occupying two guys, okay? So if that has to count for something, and it does indeed, you see here, my team is getting their, basically the closest beacon to their base now for free, because I kept the other people occupied. So, although I didn't really succeed with my action, I kind of still did for my team. So that was really good. Now we've gotten this Ravana out of the way, now there's another Ravana that's running away, and I'm I can now capture this beacon from right behind their nose, or under their nose, because what happens, uh, I jumped behind him and he didn't notice, he didn't notice me, so, yeah, now we have them all, all those beacons. So at first it looked pretty well, pretty good, and at first it looked like a win, um, but there's gonna be something happening in this video where the Vortex Spectre kills my, my match. It literally ends it for me, and I'll, I'll, I don't want to be spoiling anything, so let's just... Wait for it for the moment, okay? Trying to bring down this um, this Auchun here and it worked. So now it's time to spawn somewhere where we are needed. This one in the middle is very important. Yeah, thank goodness this guy got it. So now we can spawn on it and lock it tight. However, I wasn't the only one waiting for this spawn apparently because now there's a full leech as well. But this leech only has Tolumbas. He would never have beaten these guys. He just doesn't have the necessary firepower for it. Um, yeah, let me just show you uh, how this how this match develops. It's gonna be an interesting development going on. If you like the content, by the way, subscribe to the channel. I would certainly appreciate it, and I know you're gonna uh, you're gonna probably enjoy a lot of the upcoming videos that I have planned for you guys. So um, yeah, I'm trying to go for this beacon here to the left. However, you see the enemy team is instantly jumping on me here. Uh, both of the FR guys. This is a clan. These guys are playing together with the, with each uh, playing together there. And there's even another Ravana, a non-clan player, joining in. So it's getting to a point where it's getting uh, it's quite crazy. I have a shotgun dude behind me, and I have the freezing dude uh, the other side. And then there's going to be more people coming. If it was just these two, you know my Ravana can handle, uh, my my Fenrir can handle two Ravanas. Uh, but it's unfortunately it's not just these two. Um, there's going to be much more, and there was even stuff before. I, I didn't come here with full HP and everything perfectly. So, getting this Ravana now out of the way, they were busy a little bit for with the Mercury. They noticed that getting for the Mercury was the more important target. So, gotten this guy. This guy has meanwhile fired at me for like two minutes straight or something. Pilot CRX, he's got, he fired at me for like two minutes straight now with his cryos uh, and I didn't pay attention to him as much because he did less damage than the shotgun guy did, right? Um, but unfortunately with uh, the, the other reinforcements spawning in because they had the beacon, the whole time they had the beacon, so um, there was no way to really win this. I guess at this moment I could have also turned away and gone for a different target because this one was clearly lost to be from the beginning. There was no way ever to win this battle and this beacon. Because even if I get one Ravana killed, the other one will stand there and, f and cover the beacon forever. So, and then, you know, the replacement spawn comes in and uh, kicks in, yeah. Alright, so now the enemy is, uh, is you know, pulling back, or pushing, pushing back, rather, um, with their stuff. Uh, I'm trying my very best here to keep them uh, occupied, keep these guys destroyed. But eventually something will happen in my hangar, okay? Something that doesn't often happen, but it happens this time. And it'll it'll make me have to rely on the Vortex Spectre. And the Vortex Spectre, as you guys know, is not really the robot you want to jump in if you have to turn around a match from losing. It's the robot you want to jump in if you want to have a tremendous amount of fun 
uh, with, uh, you know, just playing fun, trolling a little bit here, firing robot uh, weapons over cover. This is, this is where you use the Vortex Spectre. But if you want to win a match that would otherwise be lost, that's not how you use it. By the way, the Nodens has not given me a single healing yet. I don't know why. That Nodens to my left could have really healed me up a little bit, but he didn't. Now, unfortunately, we have this uh, Storm Ravana coming from the left side. Yep, I knew it was going to be the FR guy. I knew, I know, I know. Yeah, yeah. 100% um, clear it was going to be the FR guy coming. I didn't even have to look at him to know that he's coming for me. Um, so, now I have the Titan. Um, and it's it looks absolutely disgusting, the map right now. We are in an terrible beacon loss. 2-2-3. Uh, it almost looked like a 4-1 to one right there. Um, and we have a Titan behind us even. See? I didn't notice that before. Uh, but now we are having the physical shield lined up for him. He's even suppressed by my team at the moment, so I can actually block that damage no problem. And getting this important Titan kill. So, and we secured a 2 to 3 beacon cap. Now, this is my second last robot, you know? So, the, um, the Arthur now is what I have right now, but then... After the Arthur, the only thing left is gonna be the Vortex Spectre. And no matter how much fun I usually have with the Vortex Spectre, this time I regretted having the Vortex Spectre as my fifth robot. This time it would have been better to have a Strider, even a Komiho, or something other. Something that has the capabilities of uh, making people miss with dashes or something, pushing them well into corners or, or whatever, and just, you know, cornering them with a lot of damage output. Um, instead of firing Vortex. Here, I thought he was going to be dead. And again, not dead. So, yeah. Took probably about 50,000 unnecessary damage because I thought he was going to be dead at the moment. And now my Titan goes. Three people on me. The Aochun is on me. Another Aochun spawns. This Phantom and the previous Titan and the previous, previous Titan. So, that was too much for my Arthur to handle. However, it did occupy the enemy team for a little bit. And give us time to turn this into a 3-2 uh, to beacon progress for us. Um, let me just do some damage here. Boom. Okay, I got one pretty good kill. But now the problem comes that we have... Um, look, I can fire at him. I lost almost my entire robot and I did zero damage with this shot. Because he, I th he either face shifted or he was uh, just in cover. I'm not sure. I didn't pay attention well enough here. Firing again. Getting hit by somebody with um, Wasp. And you see, it's now... We are four versus three. Uh, the enemy is capping a beacon, but right now it's all looking okay. We can win this. However, I'm I'm in a Vortex Spectre. I think that literally... I got attacked twice. I got attacked once for two seconds by the Aochun. And I got attacked once or twice with a Wasp shot. That's it. And I'm almost dead. Because this thing has 100,000 HP and that is it. A hundred ridiculous... Stupid ridiculous thousand HP is what I have a hundred thousand that's that you know how much that is nothing That is exactly nothing. He's now capturing the beacon and I cannot prevent it I can shoot some rockets around the corner and before I can finish him. I got he kills me I guess I should have waited for my stealth jump if I had beaten him Then we would have won the match But the vortex specter really kills it for me here because it's not a meta machine. You can't fight uh Aochuns with overdrive and Nucleon that literally kill you in one one second kill you my entire Vortex Spectre uh, In one second completely no last end on it I also have overdrive to make more damage and now he captures this beacon too So if I had been able to just defeat this one player here this one guy The match would have been won no problem We would have won it because we would have had 3-2-2 beacon progress and we would have won the match right here but we didn't because I died from the Aochun. And despite 5 million damage and a tremendous job done, the Vortex Spectre killed this match for me. Uh, but don't be upset, guys. We are going to have a video coming up where, where I'm telling, showing you how the Vortex Spectre wins the match for me, okay? Uh, this right here is, by the way, also a good match. We're going to do some useful stuff with the Vortex Spectre uh, in the second one here. Um, but it's important to also keep in mind... Um, that there is gonna be a second, uh, another video coming up doing the exact opposite of this one here, where the Vortex Spectre wins the race, okay? We're gonna do great because of the Vortex Spectre. So, let's jump up here and fail the jump. See that? I was trying to, to long jump onto the enemy beacon, and as I said, it doesn't always work. Not even I, with all the practice I've done on this job and this, yeah, 
jump dash. Not even I can get this reliably all the time. Sometimes I still fail at it and it doesn't give me a long jump. Uh, but at least I can still go for it for the beacon and just dash onto it. Here we go. Right. And, uh-oh, somebody spawned here. Yeah, oh no, it's the Aochun still. Okay, but he's suppressed and I have an energy shield that blocks his, um, his, uh, uh, glory it's called, right? Glory. No, 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 Glacier. Glacier, something with G. That's right, the Glacier, I was blocking it. And now the long jump worked. See that? This is how it's supposed to look when it works. I, I wish they could get it all the time, but sometimes I still fail at it a little bit. Um, and I was playing here a lot of uh, Spectre stuff. Uh, no, a lot of um, uh, stuff with my with my little Strider. When I recorded this video, I was trying to record some more instant win stuff. And boom, it long jumping onto this beacon, but it's a Ravana. And a Ravana is just as fast as a long jumping Strider for some reason. And he is invincible, and he is strong, and he has got far four times more HP. And he has this, that, and this, and that, and this, and that, and this, and that. Because it's a new versus an old robot. That's how it looks, old versus new in War Robots. Um, so, jumping, where, where do we jump? Um, yeah, it's sad when no amount of skill can protect you from a loss, right? When no amount of skill matters, and it's just a loss by default, because, well, it's a Ravana. <laughs> oh, man. But here we have the counter. I eat those guys with the with this thing, so uh, let's take down this... I think it's Iron Smiles, the clan, isn't it? Uh, Yanif. Hey, man. And uh, there is also... To the left... Oh, I should have really focused down this guy first. Oh, no, he's got last stand. Forget it. You can't kill the last standing... Um, last stand person, so I would have been able, wouldn't have been able to kill him anyways. Um, this, the Falcon with his three heavy weapons. All right, but we still have a ton of HP. We still have a ton of firepower. And uh, at this point, by the way, you see there is no overdrive, right? I was experimenting around a little with no overdrive, but instead having the armor modules. Uh, I personally feel, feel like the overdrive version is the better Fenrir. However, you drastically improve your your survivability with the Fenrir. Drastically improve it if you have armor modules. You get like 80,000 HP more. With all the resistance you have on the, thun on the Fenrir, these 80,000 equal about 200,000 or so altogether. So it's a tremendous improvement in survivability to have full armor modules on the Fenrir. However, doing double damage kind of makes work, makes up for it in my opinion. Uh, it just it's It's probably better. Just double damage with those shotguns and just basically three, four hit killing Fenri uh, 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 Ravanas in short range between their invincibilities. It's really worth it. Boom! Did you see that, guys? I spawn uh, the Arthur and I notice two guys next to me, the FN guy and the DA guy. Look, boom! Instant kill both of them with one blast wave. That was, that was amazing. I didn't know I was going to spawn perfectly between them. And when I saw this, I was like, yeah, well, heck yeah, I'll take it. Rups. Death. I also didn't have Quantum Sensor then, so I can't attack the Loki. You see there's the Loki behind, beneath me, um, and I couldn't attack him. Uh, but he spawns his Titan. Unfortunately, it's also an incredibly well-leveled Titan. Finn here has an incredibly well-leveled Titan, and he's got the machine guns that basically counter my uh, energy weapons here, because my shield breaks first. Uh, before his shield breaks and his reload is shorter than my reload, which is the next problem, right? Now I reload, he's reloading, but he's he's gonna f start firing earlier than I will um, Because his re reload is shorter. I have four seconds still on the clock and the problem is I'll, I'll be attacked by the other Aochun there to the left and another Titan shoots on me from time to time in between a little bit so, yeah, I'm not sure if it was a clear one-on-one, -on -one, I might have been able to beat him, because this Auchon did a lot of damage. Uh, but, you know, he um, he did counter me quite a bit with this uh, machine gun. So, but here comes the revenge. Boom! Ah, that was very little boom. <laughs> I needed more boom. Alright, but this time we're now gonna have some fun with the Vortex Spectre, and keep in mind... Um, there will be, again, a video coming where the Vortex Spectre will do great and will actually win the match for us, okay? So stay tuned for this video, too. You know I love the Vortex Spectre. I will never stop loving it. But in this video here at the beginning, uh, this first match, it would have definitely been better to have something more powerful, more meta, or at the very least something that has the ability to just dash in, dash out like a Komiho or, uh, or something. All these things would have worked, but the Vortex Spectre, this situation, didn't work for me. 
not against this uh, overdrive um, Nucleon thing. Boom and boom. Did you see that, Buck? We're gonna double hit. I don't know why it happens and when it happens and how to replicate this bug. But there is a bug in the game when sometimes the Vortex hits twice. See that? I fire- he's a- he's a well-leveled Titan. I fire at him here, boom! You see the first hit takes down about a little bit more than half of what he still had. And then I turn around and double that! Suddenly it doubles the damage and puts the same hit again, calculates it twice and kills him at once. And that was a well-leveled Titan or something. It wasn't a horribly leveled Titan, uh, like uh, level one or th uh, level three. It was, I don't know what level it was, maybe level 50 or 40 or 60 or whatever. It wasn't like super low, but still it got hit double and got completely killed. And then we also kill here, drive by flying this entire Titan here Titan with a couple slayer. of hits before and capturing the beacon here with a jump onto the beacon. So this time the Vortex Spectre really did a great job here. Thankfully, nobody spawned here. That was really good. Let's... Oh, what? I wanted to shoot at the Inquisitor, but then he jumped anyways. I wouldn't have been able to hit him. So it didn't really matter. Keeping something locked on so that I can quick swap onto him. Fire, phase shift, and then hopefully my team is gonna do the rest. And they are. Now, jumping up here to dodge the firepower from the Titan right there. And time to have some fun with the Titan. Here we go. Fire and... Boom! And if that was a that would have been a double hit, he would have been almost dead after this. Imagine I could replicate that double hit somehow. He would have been dead after this, almost. Another hit, not all the way hit because some of my rockets went into the wall in front of us. I'm suppressed now, I'm waiting for the suppression to end, and then we're gonna have some fun and boom! <laughs> 31 or 33% damage pretty much with this one hit, dude. And then he got taken out by somebody else. Yep, uh, even Ao Mings you can take down when they're not super well leveled. You can actually take down Ao Mings with this setup pretty well. They don't have as much HP and they have no resistance or very little resistance. That is the, the biggest uh, difference here. I dropped the Nightingale's last stand right before he, um, you know, right before he started flying. I got his last stand. Now I'm face shifting. He thought he could get me, but man, here have a vortex uppercut to the face. That's right. Boom. Nice. We double to cap that beacon real quick. And now it's basically, it's, I think it's only this one guy left. We're just walking over here. I'm just going forward, see? Uh, we're trying to attack this beacon. However, they still have a, an enemy. So here, this is a Ravana and I'm waiting for the right moment. Boom, instantly down to last stand. And he couldn't believe it. He couldn't believe that if this was an instant last stand. He face shifted or transcendenced afterwards to prevent the damage, now I only fire two rockets, I saved two for this moment. Boom. Wow, Overdrive Vortex Spectre is so much damage, dude. When you hit with those eight Vortex, this is insane. That is a lot of damage that you have right there, man. I guess I could level the other Vortex now. I only have them at Mark two level, uh, Mark 1 level 12. I could start getting them into Mark 2 level 5 or whatever, just improving them slightly. Maybe I'm gonna do this at some point because I still love them, but right now I have something else that, that I did. I put the Vortex now on a Ravana because if it had been if it had been a Vortex Ravana, I would have won the match in the beginning because this one couldn't have been killed so easily, you know? Uh, but it was the, the, the fragile Vortex Spectre with its 100,000 HP or whatever the heck it has. 127,000 I think it is, if I recall correctly. Very little health. But yeah, 4 million damage. Great match here. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. And until next time. Bye-bye.